everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Davina Shea and today we are doing a video that I am so excited for so I got this little tiny package in the mail today and it is my new Selena bump box um, if you watched the last video that I made on the Selena bump box I did the other little one um, darn what was that one called the micro boom and then this one is the retro pager so if you were looking for the other one, I have that video on my channel as well. Actually, I'll like stick it up here. Um, so this one is for the retro pager. I also am going to be doing a version in Spanish. Voy a hacer una versión en español que también voy a poner aquí arriba. So if you are looking for the Spanish version, si estás buscando la versión en español, también lo voy a tener aquí. Okay, so let's get into it. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I usually post um videos that relate to music on mondays but i couldn't wait no could not wait oh my goodness oh my goodness it's so tiny this one is actually smaller than the other one yeah i, I kind of figured that too because the box was definitely smaller um but okay so this is what the packaging looks like it is so cute. I love the cow print. Oh my goodness. Okay, and that's what the back of the box says. Um, but let's see, what does it say? Bump box retro pager, portable wireless Bluetooth speaker, um, type wireless motion sound, wireless version, transmission distance, more than 10 meters. Right. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much got all of the stats on here. Waterproof grade is IPX6. I don't think I'm going to be putting this close to water, though. Um, oh, here's a good one. Charging time is two hours, but preferably more than three hours for the first charge. All right. Okay, it's got some things on here. It's got voice prompt, aux play, a flashlight, and it is, it is waterproof. Okay. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to be testing that out. <laughs> So um, while we're opening this, I do have a code for you guys. Oh no, stop falling. Um, I have a code for you guys if you have not purchased this yet and you want to get one. It is only 5% off, but you know, hey, 5% is 5%, right? Um, I'll put go ahead and put my code on the screen here. It's Davina Shea, and I'll also have the link in the description if you'd rather just use that. It will take you to the bump box page and it will automatically apply the discount. <gasps> I'm sorry. I am just amazed at how little this is. Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. And I love like the little clip here. I'm just going to kind of put it on my pants there. <laughs> okay. And I do see the flashlight. The flashlight is right here. Oh my goodness. I can't even. This is, this is hilarious. Um, price. Price is $89 um, without the discount. Comes to like $84 and some change if you use my code. Um, I will say that I'm pretty happy that they lowered the prices on these. They even lowered the price on the Micro Boom as well. That one is $99 now. When I first purchased it for the other video, it was $119. And I thought that was kind of expensive for a little speaker, so I am happy to see that they decided to bring that down a bit. You know, make it more affordable so more fans of hers can get it, right? Okay, so what do we have in the box? So it came in this little tray. We have this little pamphlet. Um, let's see, what does the pamphlet say? Portable wireless Bluetooth speaker. Thank you for purchasing. This menu will get you started real quick. I will also be putting a picture of this into the video. Um, basically it's just like a diagram of the pager tells you what each key is for. But, uh, basically you have the volume buttons, power button and mode key. And then here on the side is for the light. And then here on the other side, sorry, yes, here on this side, I already told you guys the flashlight, the work indicator, and the microphone are going to be on this side. And then here over here on this other side, 
pull this out and that is where you stick in the aux cord if you have one to charge it the tf card I'm not exactly sure what that is but um and then the lanyard mouth lanyard mouth right here the speaker get the charging cable get the instruction manual you do get this little portable lanyard and get this little aux cord all right so now we have everything <laughs> Okay, then it just has the product information, um, charging time, we already covered that. So instructions to turn on and pair your retro pager for the first time. Press and hold the power button for three seconds. A blue light will flash, indicating the speaker is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Open your smart device and find a bump box pager on the Bluetooth device list. Okay, well, let's just see if it has a charge. Oh, it does. And the blue light turned on. There you go. Now I'm going to go into my settings here. Bluetooth. Bump box pager. There it is. Connected. Okay, you know what? It's, it's got a nice sound so far. It looks like you can link two pagers at the same time if you wanted to. When first powering on, long press the mode button and four modes will cycle. Bluetooth, FM, music. For music, the TF card is required or audio input. Okay, cool. How to use the flashlight? Just click the light button. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay, you just have to click it. You don't have to hold it down. And then you just click it again and it turns off. Oh, <laughs> it's sounding because I'm getting a phone call. Sorry, in the middle of a video. We'll call you back. <laughs> uh, support voice assistant. In Bluetooth mode, you can access the voice assistant software. While connected to Bluetooth via your smartphone, press the mode button, and when you hear a beep tone indicating you can now speak to the voice assistant on your smart device. All right, well, let's, why don't we just try that out? Siri, open YouTube. Nice. Okay, that's cool. So then like, if you're away from your device or whatever you're using, you can just click that button and say something into it and it will do it. How fun is that? Answering a phone call. If you are connected to your mobile device, your retro pager sound will prompt the beep beep when you receive a call. Click the power button to take the call. Okay. Cool. So I actually could have answered that phone call. Just press that power button in order to answer a phone call. To decline a call, long press the power button to decline or hang up. Darn. Could have tried that out. Okay, and then how to hang up a call. Um, just click the power button when you're done with the call. Okay, we know how to charge it. How do we know it needs to be charged? it will have a red light instead of a blue. So that's pretty good, easy. Let us go ahead and test out the sound. So I am gonna mention that I got a lot of dislikes on the last video that I made on the first bump box because when I decided to play a Selena song on the speaker, I got flagged for copyright and I ended up having to mute that section. So I apologize for that. I would like to <laughs> do that, but you know, obviously her music is copyrighted and and that is why I'm not able to do that. But I am going to be posting a TikTok about this page or two. And I will go ahead and play one of her songs on there. Because on there, it's not really an issue. so now you've heard the sound quality obviously it's amazing just like the last one um it sounded really really good and that was at maximum volume that i played that for you guys i also just want to go ahead and include the other micro boom speaker that i got before just so that you guys can see it in case you missed the last video that i made on that one
they are both still on the website currently this one is a little bit bigger and is priced at $99 right now and this one is priced at $89 um, both of them sound really great so totally up to you guys which one you want to get or maybe you already have this one and haven't picked up this one um, I will say though this one has so many cool features I really I really really liked it so you're wondering why I finished this a couple of days later um, and I could have saved myself the public embarrassment, but I'm going to tell you guys this story because I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. So <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys what happened. So I made a silly mistake when I was testing this out and I thought it was defective. So I go onto the Bump Box website. I go over to the customer service tab. Well, it was like a support tab, I think, and then it said something um, about customer service. Anyway, clicked on customer service. I started a conversation with a representative of theirs. And before you ask in the comments, yes, I'm 100% sure I was in the right place talking to what I thought was the right people. Um, or at least I thought I was talking to the right people. But anyway, so I get on there. Start a conversation with somebody. I send them a video of how the speaker was sounding, and I was like, I think I got a defective one. The sound sounds really distorted. And <laughs> this woman that I was talking to tells me uh, after she watches the video, she's like, oh, "Okay, I see." And she was like, "Well, according to our policy, um, she says something along the lines of, I have to smash it so that they can replace it for me.'" And my face, as I was reading that, was like, what? <laughs> you want me to do what? You want me to smash it. Like, physically smash it. So I can get a replacement. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys the screenshot that I took of the conversation. So you know that I'm not making this up. I was just mind boggled. I was totally baffled at this and so I sent her another message and I'm like, you know, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. If you are agreeing with me that it is uh, <laughs> defective, then you should just send me another one. I shouldn't have to physically destroy the speaker in order for that to happen. So, um, you know, she gives me her response like, well, you know, that's our policy and I wouldn't give you incorrect information. And I'm like, wow, I think you are. So I left that conversation. I go and I find their Instagram. And I make sure that it's their official page. Got the little verified blue check mark thing. And I found in there that it said contact and they had an email. I was like, okay, let me try this before I go smashing my retro page. <laughs> so I sent them an email and I was like, hey, here's the video of what my speaker is sounding like. And um, I think it's effective. I reached out to you guys through your website and the lady is telling me to smash it. I find this ridiculous. There has to be another way. <laughs> and so then a uh, lady responds to me. She kind of ignored the information that I gave her about the lady uh, telling me to smash it. And she just goes, yeah, I, um, I watched the video, but you haven't uh, taken off the plastic. And I was like... Oh my God, it's burra, pongale cero. And I was like, oh my gosh. Because I hadn't taken off the plastic because I wanted to keep it exactly the way I pulled it out of the box. Just in case there was something wrong with it. Like in my mind, my thought process was, if there's something wrong with it, they're going to know that this is exactly how it was when I pulled it out of the box. Like I didn't do anything for it to be... Um, wrong but you know like I was not thinking like girl the plastic is in the way of the speaker and making the sound <laughs> so anyway it could happen to anybody okay um I feel like I had that moment Selena had when she was on Christina's show and she said 14 instead of 14 <laughs> that's how I felt when she said that to me like girl just take the plastic off I'm like you're right and of course, I took the plastic off and the speaker sounded amazing. And so I responded to her and I was like, wow, well, I'm so glad I didn't smash it. And she responded with, you know, I'm so happy that things worked out and we have your situation resolved. Um, and I'm really glad that <laughs> the innocent pager wasn't harmed. <laughs> so anyway, we all 
make mistakes and we can laugh at ourselves for it. But basically, I just really wanted to share that with you guys now because um, I think that if you guys should actually need help, if you actually have a problem with your bump box, I'm going to tell you based on my experience that maybe you should go to their email off of their Instagram instead of their website. I don't know. Maybe this is just, you know, some crazy experience that I had, but I'm sharing it with you just in case it may help you in the future, right? Alrighty, guys. So that is going to wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys get a chance to get one. Um, let me know how yours turned out if you got it. And um, just let me know how you're liking it. I hope that the video was detailed enough. You know, we kind of went over most of the most important features. There was a little bit more, but, you know, you guys will get the pamphlet, so you'll be able to go through that on your own. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I do have that discount code and that link in the description if you guys want to buy one and you haven't gotten one yet. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.